grading your FIFA 22 starter squads. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot 22 team off with a bang? Head over right now to AOEAH.com to get yourself Foot 22 coins and use the code NERD at the checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the top line of the description. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here with something I don't think we've actually ever done on the channel. But today we're going to be grading your guys' teams, okay? So, I tweeted out the other day, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I will put it on the screen now. It is literally NerdfireYT. Follow me on there if you want to be in a future video if we do another one of these. But I tweeted out literally yesterday asking you guys to send me in your teams to check out, obviously, the starter teams because FIFA's obviously just started. We've got literally so many, like 80 plus, I think, so... Big thanks to all you guys that are already sent in your teams, but if you want to be in the next one, like I said, follow me on Twitter, turn the notifications on as well, and obviously, next time I tweet it, send in your team. Also, before we get into the rest of the video, you might be wondering why is my like camera so much higher, or if you might notice, I am standing. I know people like to say I'm small, but I, I am actually standing. The advertisement will either be in this video or a future video, but a big thanks to Flexi Spot for sending me out an electronic standing desk. Absolute legends. Honestly, we could do a lot more standing videos. I, I, I quite enjoy it, I can't lie. Anyways, back onto the actual video. Today, we're gonna go through the teams. We're gonna shout out the people that dropped in their teams as well. And in terms of actually looking at the teams, we've got phone teams and normal teams. For a normal size, like screenshot, of a team you'll see a screen like this and if you've sent in a mobile screenshot we'll try and use this screen so you can actually see the mobile team a little bit bigger for you guys anyways that is enough of me talking we'll probably go ahead and check out them two teams first as i've already shown you them they'll be the first two teams but if you'd like to see your team in the next episode like i said follow me on twitter and also in terms of how we're actually going to grade these teams it's going to be a to f literally school grades or i think old school grades now i think they use like numbers for some reason i don't know why so grade it obviously a star sorry to f if you're a star your team's incredible if your team's f probably never build a squad ever again in your life and just watch someone else's or check out someone else's team because it's going to be pretty hard to get an F, let's be honest. Anyways, we've rambled enough on explaining what we're going to be doing. If you guys do enjoy it, though, smash the like button if you want to see a future video like this. This might be the only one. Maybe you guys might not be interested, but anyways, into the squads. Let's take a look at them now. Okay, like I said, we're going to check out them firstly that I've already showed you. Shout out to Joshua Davies for this team here. This is his starter squad and it's it's looking decent. I cannot not lie. Actually, probably looking at it, it's a bit of a 50-50 team here. I, I don't know where I'd fully give it a high, high rating here, but the likes of Joe Gomez in there, Sancho, who, by the way, is genuinely incredible in this game. Ignore the A to one pace, I promise you. Correa, I've heard, is very good. Hazard is a bit meh, you know, he's had a big downgrade, but it's not bad. Benzema is still a very good striker, especially for this stage of the game. It's actually not a bad team, but the likes of Felipe, I'm not too sure what he's like. Still sitting at 61 pace, which is definitely very slow now for uh, centre-backs. And also the likes of Nathaniel Klein. I mean, probably not the right-back I'd choose. If he could, I'd probably upgrade him to Fredericks. Pickford's good. Most goalkeepers are actually good in this game. Guy is definitely a good left-back. Fernando's an interesting one as well in that midfield. And Henderson. It's a bit of a slow midfield. That is the only issue I'm seeing here. You know what, though? I think I'd give this probably a grade. We'll go with a C. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say a C, just because I think a majority of the team is good. There's got a lot of good plays in there. It's just mainly kind of the midfield and part of the defense, like, like the defensive 50-50. One part of it is pretty strong, like fast, and the other half's like slow and needs upgrading, realistically, in my opinion. So as the first team in this video, I think we'll give this a great C. I think that, you know, a flat old C, the classic, is a pass. You got a pass, realistically, so you can't complain. All right, on to a phone team now. Like I said, switching it up, we've got Twitch TV, Chili Bean 6 here, sending in his team, his starter team. He's got Jao Felix up top with Lacazette, a little bit slow. I mean, Lacazette this year is 75 pace. I just looked at his card, like his full-on card, and it's... 75 pace. Not the greatest. I definitely think that needs upgrading. He's then got the likes of Ferran Torres. He's got Fernandinho. He's not the greatest. But then, he actually has got the Paul who's solid. Carrasco is very good as well. His left back's pretty questionable. I actually just have to find out who it was. It is Alfonso Pedraza's sag. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. And then he's got Homoso and Conzo, who I actually rate very highly. Conzo's a very solid centre back. Reese James is good enough right now. And I don't know why he's got Tim Crawling goal when he's on seven chemistry. There's definitely a fair few changes I'd make to this team once again. Uh, it's probably actually not as good as the last one. I think it needs a bit more of an improvement. Maybe this is like a, a kind of D plus. Maybe we don't do the plus minuses. Maybe that just makes it a bit complicated. Actually, you know what? We will. We'll give this a D plus. You know, you're close to a C. But realistically, what I'd change here, I think Fernandinho needs to go. I think Lacazette needs to go. You could bring in a Jesus instead of a Lacazette. I know Jesus is a bit more coins. That's probably why he hasn't got someone like a Jesus. Even someone like a Watkins and then bring in a different CDM. I mean, literally, a Declan Rice is probably an improvement on Fernandinho this year just because of the pace side of things. Goalkeeper-wise, you could get 
get a Pickford like we have in the last team, or you could get a Dean Henderson. Any English goalkeeper can do that. They're not that expensive right now, so that's definitely what I'd say. Left backs as well, literally Gaia. You can put Gaia in at left back, and he will definitely be a lot better than that left back. He's literally uh, 1,000 coins right now, so I'd throw a Gaia in at left back, and I think them few changes will definitely put that team up to a C, to a C plus, mate. Like that would make the team a lot more solid. I just think them players need improving, especially the keeper. I don't understand why you've got a seven chem keeper. Maybe you packed him. That would probably make sense, I guess. It's, it's early on. We can't be too harsh right now. I actually forgot to give this team a grade, but the grade I'd actually give it is probably a D plus to a D, just because there's a fair few changes that need to be made, but they definitely can be made pretty easily and bring that team up to at least a C minus to a C. The next team we've got here is from Kieran Smith. I'm liking it. I'm liking the first glance at this team. I am liking it. He's got some hefty players in here. He's got the likes of Bruno Fernandes. He's got Haaland. He's got Inform Tony, who's the first featured team of the week that we've ever had. Then he's got the likes of Rafinha, who's very solid. He's got Lacroix, who's, I think, like 40,000 coins. Yeah, I'd say this team is the best one we've seen so far. This has got to be at least a C plus right now. Bellingham is definitely solid right now. Definitely a player you probably need to upgrade the further the game goes on. Samedo's all right, not the best. You've got Bailly, he's definitely solid for the game right now. We've got Lucas Hernandez. He's a little bit slow, but he will do for now. And Diaby, very, very good on that left wing. I've played against him a few times. Melier and goal as well for them links. I'm liking that. Yeah, I'd say C plus right there. That's a C plus. The strike force of Haaland and Tony, pretty dangerous. I'm liking it. And that midfield with Bruno and Bellingham in, very, very nice. C plus right there. All right, we're going back to another phone team. As you can see, we've got LFC Fabinho here with a nice looking team, actually. Very solid, this team, actually. This team's very solid. Goalkeeper, first of all, looking very good. Ariola, very solid. Uh, the defense is looking good. He's got Nuno Mendes and he's got Russell on that's left back at right back. I'm not too sure what his weak foot is. Let me give it a check. He's sitting at a three star weak foot, so it's a, a little bit questionable as he is left footed. Might need probably changing if he can get someone different there. He's then got Griezmann, which I assume he probably switches him in game, maybe to the central cam. From what I'm seeing here, I feel like he probably plays maybe. Be a 4-2-3-1 Griezmann central cam, Carrasco left cam, Saar right cam, Lukaku striker. But the two central midfielders or the CDMs, if he plays the 4-2-3-1, Wijnaldum and Depaul, I feel like they'd be very solid in them roles actually. And like I said, Lukaku, Carrasco and Saar in form. That is a very nice front three, well front four including Griezmann. That is solid, yeah. God, we're just going, we're just going up at the moment, up and up and up. C plus maybe onto a B minus this team here. For the starting, actually, you know what? This is a starter squad ratings. This has got to be a flat out B actually. I'm going to give this a four on B. These are all starter squads, so we've got to be rating them as starter squads. On to the next one. I've got to throw in my boy Sergio HD. He's an absolute top man. Lovely team as well, can I just say. Goalkeeper, very good choice. David De Gea is very good at that. He's actually who I use in this game. Uh, right back, he's got Pereira, solid. Rudiger Gomez, very, very good partnership there in the centre backs. I've used that for a while. Luke Shaw, it hurts me to say this because I'm a big man United fan and he's literally one of my favourite players. One of the United shirts from this year that I've bought, I've literally got Shaw in the back, but they've done him dirty with 79 pace. Just think probably Shaw isn't the greatest choice as a left back. I just think he's a bit too slow. But onto the midfield, Bruno Pogba. Allen. What a bunch of midfield three there. Once again, I think he's playing the 4-2-3-1 and probably Bruno moves up to a cam. And then the front three, Rafinha, Werner, Rashford. I'd say this is at least a B. Actually, I'm going to give this a B plus because the overall team is completely solid. Maybe by Luke Shaw. Maybe that brings it down a little bit, but we'll go, we'll go with a B plus for my boy Serge. I'll, yeah, it's got to be. Next up, we've got my boy Mo. You guys thought I was going to a phone team, didn't you? No, that's not happening. We've, we're switching it up around here. We've got Mo with his starter team. And this is actually a bit more like a starter team, isn't it, really? All these other teams are pretty much ridiculous players. Every Everywhere. And Mo's got some, you know, basic players, but then good players as well. I believe that's, that's Saliba at centre-back. He's got Denier, who would be solid. Aguila, I think, is at right-back. Uh, Lafont may be in goal. Digne, left-back. He's got a midfield three of... Tuchimeni, I don't know if I pronounced that right at all. Then he's got Decore and Sanson. Then he's got Ziyech, Richarlison, and out of nowhere, Mane as a left wing, which is obviously absolutely incredible. Like that, that Mane is sick. You know what? Going off other teams, I guess I can't really put this above AC because we've seen some ridiculous players in other teams. But I'm feeling a C minus to a C just because of the other caliber of players we've I guess rated, but it's got to be in the C. I'd say this is a pass, definitely. And it actually is, I guess, a realistic starter team in a way. Instead of the likes of my team, if I actually showed you my team, my team's disgusting as well. All right, switching back over to the mobile. I think this mobile's a little bit like different orientation. Doesn't fully fit in the uh, edit I kind of made, which is kind of annoying. But we'll let it slide. Shout out to the man Jamzy2k with this team. So he has got a very, very solid uh, defense there with Skriniar obviously getting the pace upgrade this year to 80. It's very good. Manalas is like 81, 82 pace. Quadrado's obviously 90 pace. Handanovic is a solid keeper to have. He's then got Renan Lodi at left back. Very good left back to have. Obviously, that's strong link to Carrasco. I like that little link on there. The little strong link. 
I like to see it. I like to see little strong links just separately in, in, in different leagues, different nations. It's nice to see. Then on the right side, he's got Lozano in there as well. Then Barella, Kessie, Lautaro Martinez, and Muriel. Yeah, this is a C plus to a B minus team, definitely. I'd probably say C plus will go with. Uh, the defense is incredibly solid. Like, that's perfect to have for the start of the game. What he plays in game, I'm not fully sure. I'm going to go and just guess out of here. I might be completely wrong, but the 4 triple two, maybe. Unless he sticks to this formation in game, but the 4 triple two is the vibe I'm kind of getting. You've got Carrasco left cam, you've got Lozano right cam. And then you've got Muriel and Latoura Martinez strikers. Unless he plays Martinez as a cam, I'm not sure. And then obviously the two CDMs as Kessie and Barella. Yeah, C plus here, 100%. Solid, solid team. All right, well, we've got an actual photo taken from a phone. I thought we'd throw it in because it's different, you know, a different view to see. And also, it's actually a very solid team. Like, I didn't even look at the team before actually clicking on it. But shout out to my boy, Liam Hammond. I've, I've known Liam for ages. He's a top, top guy. And he's got a top, top team. He's got a very nice team. He's got Itor, I believe, in goal. Right back is in Babu. Right centre back is then a Kanji. He's got that triangle. He's got the green link triangle of Zakaria and Babu and a Kanji, which is nice. Then on the left side, he's got Hamoso, Renan Lodi, and Kamavinga. Then in the cam slot, Bellingham. And then right wing, Silas, striker Malin, and then in form Vinicius Jr. Big, big, big boy there. He's very good. I've actually got myself. Managed to pack him, luckily. But yes, this team is solid. Marlon, every time I play against him, he literally scores. I, I kid you not. That guy is so good at scoring. It's ridiculous. In terms of his formation, I actually don't know what he plays. Unless he plays this in game. I don't know. I don't see Bellingham as a cam, though. That's the only thing. I'm going to throw out there that I think he might be playing the 4-3-1-2. So, might be wrong. But Camavinga, Bellingham, Zakaria in the midfield. And then Vinicius Jr. maybe is the cam or Silas as the cam. And then obviously Marlon and the other player that's not the cam as strikers. But in terms of the rating for the team, yeah, C plus. Again, it's got to be a C plus, 100%. It's very, very solid. Close to a B minus, actually, as well. The defense is sick. The midfield is very solid. Vinicius Jr. up there with Marlon and Silas. Yeah, C plus, 100%. Very, very nicely. Maybe a B minus. Actually, let's be kind. It's the first episode. B minus. On to the next team. Shout out to my boy, Will. My sister's boyfriend here. This is his team that he's rocking. It's solid. It is solid. I mean, I'd probably start Lukaku on the left and Jesus on the right. That's one thing that I noticed at the start because obviously Lukaku with the left foot and Jesus with the right. Unless he's doing it for the finesse shots outside the box, which if you didn't know, are pretty overpowered. Foden as a cam. Foden is very, very good. I actually have him in my team and he's one of my favorite players. Uh, Jota, good five-star weak foot. Bailey is very, very nice. Fred is really good. Literally the cheap Kante on this game, 100%. And then the back four is solid. Once again, Robertson, the best left back in the Premier League. Gomez, incredible. Godfrey, incredibly fast as well. wan -Bissaka, very, very good at tackling and Martinez is actually incredible. So yeah, this has got to be in the Bs. This has got to be B minus to a B here. Probably a B minus we'll go with, but just because some of the players maybe could be a bit better. In terms of maybe like a Jota, a Jesus could get a bit of a better upgrade and maybe also the Godfrey. But B minus definitely. That's a solid, solid Premier League team. I know there's no other leagues, but like I said, my team is pretty Premier League driven. So I would say... B- minus is a solid, solid place to put that team. Next one up, shout out to Claps. A very, very long time viewer, always in my Twitch stream. So shout out to her, Claps, on YouTube, on the Twitter. So, so looking at the team, we are seeing pretty much Premier League and an icon. I think this is the first icon we have seen in this video, which is sick to see. Not fully sure whether it's Pat Paul. It might be. It might be Pat Paul. But anyways, going through the team, Popey and goal, very good. Unless you saw the tweet that I tweeted yesterday of the clip. I'll try and show the clip on the screen now. Foden, come on. We need a good ball in there. We need a good ball in there. One nil down. Let's get a goal back here. Come on. Oh, my. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what is even just going on? <gasps> I'm done. I I'm done. I, I, what? Yeah, I don't know what the hell went on there. But onto the defense, got Trent, Stones, Rudiger, Shaw. Only thing I say there is the fullbacks aren't the quickest, but pace isn't as key this year. Then onto the midfield, central center mid is Pogba. Very, very nice. Left wing Jota, right wing Sancho. I'm liking it. Cam, like I said, Deco in there. First icon, Foden, Beast, and then Ivan Tony at top. Very, very solid overall team. I'm going to say probably a C plus here. It's close to a B minus, definitely. I just think the fullbacks need increasing realistically just to make the defense a bit more solid. That's all I say but like i said nice to see an icon in there and definitely a strong strong c plus all right i think we'll go through a few more teams for the video i think what we'll try and do if we do this in the future is if put like a set amount of teams we'll do obviously we can't go through all of them i do apologize maybe we should go through quicker next time let me know if you think i should improve in terms of how long i take to grade a team but next one up i had to throw this in this, the guy's at his a twan zb obviously axel twan zb and he's got him in the team i love the commitment here i really do he's got uh, castile's in goal who's 86 this year i i can't even remember that rating that's ridiculous. Then he's got Mbabu, he's got Lacroix, Axel Twanzibi, 
Chilwell, I love that. Then he's got Felix De Paul, Inform Kimmich, Sane, Correa, and Carrasco. You know what? I think this has got to go to B mine. It's, it's a high, high C plus. Obviously, the Twan CB would usually bring it down, but because it's his Twitter app, the dedication, I do love it. I think we're going to throw this in a B minus. I think we are. I mean, the defense is solid. I mean, I don't know what Twan CB is like, but the rest of the defense is solid. Maybe Bar Chilwell. The midfield is sick. I mean, the Paul and probably Kimmich as CDMs, and then Carrasco, Correa, Sane, and Felix as the attackers. Yeah, I'm going to give that a B minus. A B minus for the dedication and also a very solid team around the dedicated player. All right, so for the final team that we're going to do for this video, shout out to Dizachi HD. This is definitely, I, I, like, literally at first glance, I know this is a B plus, maybe even our first A, like A minus to A. I don't know. This is a very good team. So going through the team, he's got Donnarumma in gold. Then the center backs, he's got Upper Meccano, Ramos, Kimpembe, left wing back, Alfonso Davies, right wing back, Hakimi, the three midfielders, Goretzka, Kimmich, and Wijnaldum, and then the two strikers, Haaland and Lewandowski. Wow, my guy has either been absolutely grinding or absolutely spending the money. You know, the, the, the fever points have been raining in. But what a ridiculous team. I mean, what can you even improve at this stage of the game realistically with this team? There's not much you can actually do. Yeah, I've got to give this, I think, an A- minus to an A. I'm, I'm going to go with an A-. minus. I don't want to give up the first A just yet. Maybe we'll wait for maybe next week if we do a video. But A-, minus, 100%, it's got to be in the A's. It's got to be because what a ridiculous team to have. Literally, you've had the game for two days. Two days! And he's got this team. Minimum A minus, actually. I don't even know why it's considering a B plus. A minus minimum. Anyways, there we go. So that is going to wrap up our first grading your FIFA 22. Obviously, starter teams this week. It might be starter teams next week. But we're going to try and title it definitely like grading your FIFA 22 teams. Foot Champs Edition. Wants to Watch Edition. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys actually enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed recording it. I can't lie. And standing up is pretty fun as well. Like, I've never recorded standing up much. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, like I said earlier, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. And also follow me on Twitter if you want to be in the next one but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye